Hi there everyone. In this short video, I'm going to be going through the five steps to drawing the perfect Sankey diagram. Before we go through what those five steps are, let's just have a quick look at a Sankey diagram just to learn what one is. Sankey diagram has three main components. First one being the input energy. That's this bit over here that tells you how much energy is being put into the energy transfer. Second part is the wasted energy output. They're the arrows going pointing downwards on our Sankey diagram. And thirdly is the useful energy outputs, which are the arrows pointing to the right on our Sankey diagram. So let's have a go at drawing the Sankey diagram for this kettle. A kettle transfers 800 joules of electrical energy. 600 joules of thermal energy is used to heat the water. 200 joules of thermal energy is wasted to heat the, to the surroundings. Draw the Sankey diagram to represent this energy transfer. Now step one of drawing your Sankey diagram is you've got to decide on what your scales are going to be. So I've got 800 joules of electrical energy as my input energy here. So I'm going to use one square to represent 100 joules. So one square equals 100 joules. So that's the scale that I'm going to use throughout this Sankey diagram. Secondly, I'm going to plot the input energy. Now the input energy I've circled and it's 800 joules. Now remember our input energy has to be on the left hand side of our Sankey diagram. And I've got 800 joules. Each square is 100 joules. So the end part of my uh, Sankey diagram arrow needs to have eight squares. So let's count them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the start of my Sankey diagram needs to look something like that, where we've got eight squares. Tick off that bit, because we've just done that bit. Next off, we're going to plot the wasted energy. So the wasted energy here is 200 joules. And it's often easier to plot the wasted energy first. And remember that wasted energy, it needs to point downwards. And it needs to be, represent 200 joules, which on our, on our scale would be two squares. So let's count across. One, two squares there. So this would be part of our Sankey diagram there. Turn it into an arrow. So we plotted the wasted uh, energy outputs now. Next up what we need to do is we need to plot the useful energy outputs. And before I do that, I'm going to extend the line at the top. And then the end of the line is where my arrow is going to start. And our useful energy output is 600 joules, which is going to be six squares on our scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the bottom of our arrow needs to be there, then we can draw our arrow. Last thing that we need to do is uh, just the last finishing touches and draw that line up to there and that line up to there. So we've plotted our useful uh, output energies. Final thing that we need to do is we need to add some labels to it. And there we have it, there are labels. So let's have a quick summary. The five steps to drawing the perfect Sankey diagram. First of all, decide on your scales. Secondly, plot the input energy. Thirdly, plot the wasted output energy. Then plot the useful output energy. And finally, add the labels. I hope you found this video useful. And don't forget to leave a comment to tell me what you think.